One, I don't really give a stuff what's happening 12,000 miles away. The Botham reaction was predictable. He's been in a defiant mood since Flight 55 landed in Perth. His actions in Launceston and the West and the ensuing stubbornness forced the QCA executive's hand last night. Consequently, it's been decided that Mr. Botham be advised in accordance with the terms of the contract. The agreement is terminated and the necessary notice has been forwarded to Mr. Botham and his solicitor. Also devastated are hundreds of Queensland cricket followers who today kept the phones at the Gabba running hot. Some threatening, some rude, and others bitterly disappointed at the decision. Well, I can promise you he was given a very fair hearing. The role that former Test skipper Greg Chappell has played in this drama is also causing much debate. I don't think I got rid of him. I think Ian did a fairly good job of that himself. There are some prominent cricket identities who say both of them deserved another chance. I think he's a great team man, he's been a great help, he's been a great to Queensland and Australian cricket this season and uh, you know, he's been punished in, in three ways. A legal challenge from Botham is unlikely. He has threatened though to take the facts eventually to his oldest foe, the media. I intend to honour my responsibilities in every, every regard so that I will ultimately be free to voice rev rev revelations. Ladies and gentlemen, that will make your hair stand on end. Police and troops loyal to Panama.